So this is, I think, why I can't chill ever in my house. Uh, I'm not sure what's up there, but uh, <clears throat> I heard some banging. And this thing is pretty heavy. I feel like there's something, some weight up there. I'm not really sure it's what it is. But it's like scratching and uh, the light is on up there. So <clears throat> yeah, I gotta go investigate. <clears throat> so what, whatever it is, my, my heater stopped working. It's kind of scary. It's trying to go up there. Cause it's this hole, it's this, and I have to cramp myself down really fast. And there is a stupid ass raccoon up there. We're busy. So in this corner here, I'm not sure why that's just like that. I'm gonna check the other corner of the house because I'm pretty sure this goes to the crawl space. That ducking is nothing. Everything else looks uh, very undisturbed. Like there's no little animals or anything like that up here. So that's a good thing. Uh, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna uncover my rat run from here to there so I can have a okay footing and even then I'm not gonna uncover that much because the mask that I have doesn't offer that much protection Outside, and this is my crawl space. Actually, not that bad, but haven't been down here ever. So, guess I'm gonna clean this shit up and then whatever caused that right there. Uh, it's full of spiders and I'm trying to look at my heating. Ah, I'm not sure what that is. It's a little neat. Something got in to my house from that crevice right there. I tried to. I'm 
can get in, kind of mold its way. Yeah, rats, they do that. So the rat kind of chew a hole through here, made its way up here, and it just died. Like right there. Just. Same thing over here. Probably chewed his way, tried to make it inside, and possibly died somewhere in there. Or maybe even tried to make nest up there. And then just died. But uh, peace of mind. I'm gonna foam that up. All that's gonna get foamed up. <clears throat> Possibly gonna buy some foam. Not really sure. <clears throat> Still not sure. I haven't seen anything like that would stop me from getting warm air. So, <clears throat> more dead rats. Again. More dead rats. <laughs> These are more recent dead rats. more reason to come down here clean this up because they hit this corner here and then go straight up into that full board right there and they just kind of die on this ledge over here it's probably the warmest This spot here, so they're gonna find more dead rats and all kind of other random things. Yeah, it's a lot of dead rats. <clears throat> it's pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie. There's not that much light in there. I just have four set of different headlights. I put one on my head and one on my neck so I don't have to just do anything. But uh, it's gonna be a pain. And then uh, I think it's gonna cost me like five or six hours of my time. And I should have all that shit. Maybe even eight hours, fuck, I don't even know. I'm, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna cost me a whole day. An entire day of uh, work to get that shit squared away and uh be able to see if my duck is one of the reasons that my heater won't turn on not like fuck it's a heater and uh, i'm gonna check the heater out in a second but fuck that's this was like one of the things i was like planning to do anyways yeah so i got a nice fire brewing inside enjoying it shit's clean I don't have to do it in the front yard today I got no leaves because I got no giant crazy ass trees I got that one but I picked up the leaves last week and that's my only tree thinking definitely I'm gonna drop that pine tree so I don't have to worry about that one dropping all those little pine thingies everywhere but other than that done kids are happy fire is roaring it's roaring nice too that wood's nice and dry just threw it in there now the backyard that guy look at all those leaves that just came out of there oh that shit is it I'm gonna clean that up Figure out when my heater's not working. Good 
go. So that's my uh, my round two. I'm about to throw all my leaves in the garbage can. Fire's roaring, y'all. Looks nice. And I've been drying these off, I think maybe a year. So that's why the fire roars really good. I think I've been drying these off maybe like two, three weeks. Not really sure. They're super dry too. That's how I got the fire to like be nice and crisp. And then possibly mow the lawn. <clears throat> I like that tree right there. It doesn't bear any fruit nothing but it looks hella chill but every year when the leaves fall down and then everything i just rake it up and put it in my container or bag it up and slowly get rid of it uh earlier this morning i was checking out the ducks and everything and i did not find anything wrong with the ducks everything's blowing like right and so i finally open up my heater and this is my heater right here. Uh, this is a blower. This is everything. I don't know if you caught it earlier when I was uh, pointing down, but I'm gonna go through like a, um, so first thing I do is I check my, my blower here. My, so this thing is looking disgusting already and I just, I just replaced it a little while ago. So I might pick up another one or I might replace it with another one, but uh, I still let it, I'll, I'll let it slide for right now. But uh, <clears throat> everything looks normal, except when I go in here. So I gotta turn off the power, but 100% sure that this guy right there is not supposed to be fried the way it is. And that guy right there is completely fried. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those two leads I'm gonna go to Home Depot, get the exact same color on that, and get the exact same color on that. So, <clears throat> that's my problem. No idea what these are at all. I've never seen anything like this because I don't deal with heaters or uh, this type of electricity. The type of electricity I deal with is a 12 volt battery. All right, so here's the thing. Two of my wires are bad. I'm taking the one from here to take the sample. This is a black lead that leads over here. The other one, I'm not even touching it at all. That way it stays there. So when I'm done fixing this one wire, I work on this one. And so I turn off all the power and all I'm doing is taking this guy off. And I've seen it done before. They're fairly easy. All you do is you, you pull that connection and the screw in the back. It's gonna turn. That's gonna cause this one to come straight out. And that's it. It's just mashed in there. So I gotta do is I gotta get a similar cable to this. And then this is a, what, what is this? 12 AWG 3.1. They should also know what connecting piece this is. And then I'll clean that off when I come back as I'm working on it. It shouldn't be that hard to clean off. $36 later, all right? Home Depot, that's where you go at. This has nothing to do with what I'm gonna about to fix, but it was on sale, like four bucks. I'm about to cut some trees later. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> Duster, 
I'm gonna dust off all that stuff in there. Whatever that is, it's just like, I don't know. See that? Clean. Okay, back to the solution. These guys. Um, so my gauge for the wire was a, uh, this goes from a 12 to a 10. So my gauge was a 12. Uh, I need that to fit in the back side of it. My wire is a 12 and it's a 0.250 tab. Um, all the tabs were the same except the actual back portion of that. And this is a 12, it's uh, two feet long. I won't be needing the whole entire two feet. And I'll be using that. Well, it doesn't look like anything, but the front tab of this, you see right there where that tab is at, that's what that is. It's so fried up, it's hard to see. There we go. That's what I'm gonna splice into and get a nice connection and feed it up there. All right, so this is me like after I vacuumed it, and it looks a hundred times better. Um, almost all the dust and everything is gone. Uh, I shot it in convenience with a combination with this, but this is like afterwards. So wasting this, is, or putting too much of this, is like uh, gonna cost you money. So this is around the strand that I want, and I'm gonna give it down about an inch or so more uh, I'll go ahead and cut it uh, I did it with the other one uh, then I'm gonna do this guy so you do just spin it a couple times and just pull and the wires come straight out and I'm fairly happy with both of my uh, pieces uh, my 12 is gonna go in here it's a uh, sit right there 10 to 12 and give it a solid smash. One solid smash should do it. That's it, I did my first wire. This is a little piece of sandpaper. Obviously, I uh, don't recommend sticking your hand in here like this carelessly, unless you don't have power. Facing the outward direction, I'll go ahead and slide it in. Voila, fuck, I'm a genius. <laughs> And then this is going to slide in through the back of this portion here. And uh, just like I said, I'm going to do one by one. I did it all in the dark. I spliced up this one. It goes and runs into this guy. And I had one that runs from here into there. Uh, I'm hoping that these are not damaged. Uh, I'm going to look up these little components later on and try to figure out it's what each one of these does. Now I have a couple more of these guys here, uh, just in case for the future. I'll leave it in there. And I have some 12 gauge, just in case I have that similar problem. It's almost like my little locker in here. Most definitely, uh, these wires did come undone because of corrosion. Uh, I was lucky that it was a problem that I could visually see. So I know exactly what to repair, but in a lot of them, like if something like this internally goes wrong, uh, it's a lot of troubleshooting procedure and it might even get you to the point where you're just like, screw it, I'm gonna replace the whole thing. And uh, I've gotten to points like that, all right? It's, it's not uncommon for somebody to be like, okay, cool, my heater stopped working, I'm gonna replace the whole thing. Uh, but, this is why when you call somebody that works on heaters all the time and doesn't have a visual like this or you get to the point where you don't have a visual like this 
that's why you pay them a lot. Because these guys will come in and they'll rack their brains around exactly all this mess. And they'll go ahead and fix it for you. So it's not a cheap fix. This was just me kind of sort of lucky that I can visually see this. And even then, I troubleshooted the entire ducking of the house. Uh, it's a pain in the ass. It's uh, downstairs and upstairs. Voila, let there be power. Okay, now that thing blew up. I got my heat. I don't want it to go that much. Let's go to 74. All right.